For from his fullness, we have received grace upon grace. John chapter 1 verse 16. So family, I'd like to welcome you back to the Lovey Starch Food Channel. Let's make this delicious beef tomato stew with just fresh tomatoes. This recipe right here excites me a whole lot. So please stick around if you want to learn how to make this delicious stew. And also do not forget to give me a thumbs up, all right? Let's get started. So we have our fresh tomatoes here and I'll be using some beef but you can definitely use chicken or fish or any proteins of choice and I also have some onions. Do you have some Anaheim peppers as well? You can choose to have some red bell peppers and some garlic ginger, habanero pepper, pepper powder and all my natural spices. Here I have some fennel seed, onion seed, cloves and some rosemary as well i'm going to grind this and i'm going to season my meat with it okay i also went go ahead and add my garlic and ginger as well This is the texture of the natural spices that I'm looking for. So I'll go ahead and season my meat with it. And this meat has been nicely washed as well with cold water and lime. Okay. So once I'm done, I'll go ahead and make sure that everything is well mixed. I will add a bit of meat seasoning. Use any favorite brand of yours and also add a bit of salt. This is the trick. Please do not add any water. This meat will blow your mind it has it natural juices and that is the perfect stock that you want to have in your stew okay so go ahead and mix everything well especially when the salt goes in all that you have to do is cook it on a low to medium heat for about 30 to 35 minutes all right so once that is done i'll go ahead and just chop my chop apples anything that needs to be chopped my onions my bell peppers anything that needs to be chopped at this point has to be done okay I like to chop few of the onions and add it to the boiling meat and just look at this family we did not add any water but just look at this juices it's unbelievable try it anytime that you're steaming your meat and you will be marveled okay all not cooked this is about 10 minutes into cooking so i'm going to go ahead and cover it again and allow it to cook for an extra 20 minutes okay so while that is ongoing i'll go ahead and prep my tomatoes and this is the trick family you need to make an incision like this at the back of your tomatoes because you're going to do something wonderful with it as you can see i'm boiling some water already and once the water boils up i'm going to add all the tomatoes and allow it to boil for just three minutes You'll just allow this to boil over for three minutes, not more. This process helps tense the acidity and the bitterness that sometimes tomato brings okay working on tomatoes can be very very tricky but i assure you that if you use this method you are going to be so safe and you're going to enjoy whatever that you'll be doing it with your tomatoes okay that is why even in soups you tend to boil it a little bit before you blend it in your soup this does not matter if your tomatoes are organic or not whichever tomatoes that you lay your hands on use this method and you're going to enjoy it really well the tomatoes we have three different sections right we have the skin the pulp and the seeds and this time around we're going to separate the skin and the pulp and possibly if you can you can also separate the seed and we're going to 
should throw nothing away everything has its own cooking time that you have to give it for you to really enjoy whatever that you're doing with it this time around it's very very important that you stick to this rule okay so i am going to blend half of it and also chop half of it into smaller chunks like this just like the chopped tomatoes that you buy in the market this was homemade all right <laughs> so once you're done chopping them into smaller chunks like this you go ahead and set them aside and ideally it will be very perfect for you to be able to separate the seed but to me i did not have the time and because of time management if you have the similar problem let me tell you this works also very well okay go ahead and blend it you can also use your blender but i love the hand blender right so blend it until you see no trace of chunks of tomatoes in here right <laughs> So right now we have our chopped tomatoes and our tomato puree ready so we are going to also blend the skin of the tomatoes together with the natural spices and the peppers on the three tomatoes that we have prepped this is the one that is mimicking tomato paste because it is quite thicker than any one of them okay this is what we got it is ready for us to start our stew look at this absolutely great we are going to take off the beef if you're using chicken it's time to take it out and just look at that stock that we had so so good the meat is super tender and we are going to be frying it in the air fryer so it's best that we allow it to cool down okay the stock is very important just pour it and store it until it is needed in the stew okay right here is so so pure <laughs> let's start with our stew process so in our pot we're going to add in our sunflower oil you can go ahead and use any oil of choice and once it is a little bit heated i'll then add my chopped onions i love lots of onions in every stew that i make if you've been following me i believe you've noticed that right make sure you fry it for about three minutes after frying for about three minutes we go ahead and add one secret ingredient which is the lucas bean or dawa dawa absolutely make every stew that i make recently tastes so delicious fry that for three minutes as well So after frying both the lucas bean and the onions, we go ahead and add the blended natural spices together with the skin of the tomatoes and the peppers, garlic and ginger. We're going to make sure that this is also very well fried for about five minutes and then introduce the chopped tomatoes. So as soon as the chopped tomatoes is being added to the stew, you go ahead and stir it very, very well. Cover it for about 15 minutes, okay? Cover it and allow it to cook and then you will see that it has been very thick and it's a very good sign that you are on the right path, okay? yes this is how the singing competition takes charge y'all <laughs> we have been frying the stew for the past 15 to 20 minutes and it's really really thick now so it's the best time for me here to add my curry powder and if you have extra pepper or pepper powder it is the best time to add here and just stir everything together so here the amount of spicy or peppers that you'll be using really depends on your 
taste buds i've already added two habanero pepper but here i'm yet to add a bit more of the pepper powder so you'll choose okay if you don't want to the stew to be a little bit more on the spicier side then you can go ahead and just use your fresh peppers as i used before okay please family if you are enjoying this process be sure to give me a thumbs up and share to a few friends and family as well so here we'll be adding our tomato puree and this is going to be another <laughs> journey all together it would take such a long time for everything to shrink okay usually you make sure that you stir everything up and make sure everything is well mixed together this the shrinking stage takes a long time for this to to shrink so you need about two and a half hours on your side okay make sure you cover it halfway and also this heat should not be all that high because you are going to burn the bottom of your pot right now all that you have to do is to cover it halfway and allow it to cook and shrink down okay after a lot of patience, one hour later, our stew is shrinking, okay, but it's not there yet. So I think it's the best time for you to add any stock that you have at hand. Here we have our beef stock that was stored from steaming our meat. It is absolutely gorgeous in here. So mix everything together. Mind you, it has lots of spices here as well and salt. So you have to bear that in mind and i will go ahead and air fry the beef my air fryer is a total mess forgive me <laughs> okay so after about one and a half hours it's still not there yet but you need to come and check up on it just so that it does not stick at the bottom and here we have about two hours of frying our stew you can imagine how the stew has shrunk beautifully now our stew has shrunk beautifully and it's looking absolutely amazing we are adding the baileys here we're going to also grate some nutmeg i'll grate about a quarter size of a full nutmeg and also add some salt to taste and then add our golden ingredients which is our perfectly crunchy fried beef Also, please do not hesitate to taste for salt just in case you want to add more you can definitely do so just look how amazing this air fryer fry this meat it is absolutely crunchy just the way i want it to be in this stew let me tell you fam my life without an air fryer will be total mess <laughs> that is the reason why i've overused my air fryer i've abused it and i need to really update it asap <laughs> it is so so helpful and i really recommend you to have an air fryer at home it's the best thing ever okay so just added the everything and stir i also added some french beans or green beans and yeah you just allow it to simmer through for about 10 minutes just let every infusion come together and know each other well and i cannot do away with freshly chopped red onions i mean the best thing you could ever have in your stew right it is good for garnishing and also make the stew absolutely aromatic and so so tasty so all that we have to do now is to allow it to simmer through for about 10 minutes and our stew should be ready amazing it smells so good i mean just look how gorgeous this stew is looking you could ever not imagine that this was made without tomato paste and of course we paired it with some rice which is the common pair but you can definitely pair it with some king cake some boiled ripe plantains oh my goodness will be so so good as well even yam or your potatoes will go so well according to my husband this was one of the best stews i've ever ever made it was so so tasty 
I really hope you give this a try family. It is so so delicious and very very tasty. I really hope you give this a try. It might take you a long time to make but it's absolutely worth it. All right. Thank you so very much family for watching right to the end. I really hope you enjoy this recipe and you're going to give this a try. And if this is your first time here, hello. My name is Lovia from Lovia Statch. My main goal here is to jail you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home. I also love to share kitchen related motivational videos. So please come on board and subscribe to join the family for amazing new recipes every week. Thank you so very much family for watching once again and just know that you are so beautiful just the way you are. See you in my next one. Bye!